of us, we, we, we fear for our safety, so we stood there, we stayed there at the, at the, the house, and until at 3 a.m. when the police made announcement that it is safe for us to come out from where, wherever we were and to gather at the Menteri Besar's house. And when we entered the MB's residence, there were lots of people. And from here we can see the, the setting of this house. It's a, the house is a, uh, the MB's residence. I've got a big compound, and it is fully fenced. And there is a guard house there. So it is presumed with a guard house there, there is definitely somebody manning this place. And on a normal day, I, I believe no, no unauthorized person should probably would be able to enter this, this compound, let alone to do some funny business of sale, of say like urinating. Like urination. <laughs> uh, urinating at the flagpole. It would be <clears throat> practically impossible. If a person tries to do this, I don't, I don't think he can get away scot-free. He would have been arrested or he could even get hurt or even get killed. 43 years later to come out and say that this event happened, I personally believe this is ridiculous. So this is something which should not have been raised. If it had been raised 43 years ago, then it's believable. You know, as, as uh, YB uh, Lim Kit Siang read to you, when I uh, read Lisha Kini, uh, on the incident whereby Mr. Lim Kit Siang be accused of renating at the black pole. I was there. I mean, I was there at the house. So I know the situation in the house. And knowing that this is not correct, as a responsible citizen, and I'm not young, as I said, I have a duty to set the record straight, what I know. And I am compelled to do this. I made my comments uh, in Malaysia Kini, and uh, as a result of that comment, yeah, this is where I am today, sitting beside Mr. Lim Kit Siang.